think that's a bit of a romance um, between the mountain and myself. After all, it's been more than 15 years since um, I first heard of this mountain back in my high school when I was first exposed to mountain climbing. And to be honest, back then, I already knew somehow that I'm definitely going to climb this mountain one day. I just have to do it. It's the challenge making me so attracted to this mountain. Many people that have climbed it would say that it's the toughest mountain. Um, I've seen pictures online you know, of expeditions and um, it gives me a pretty good perspective of what to expect. It's in Tamanagara, um, arguably one of the world's oldest rainforest. It's even older than uh, the Amazon rainforest. I mean, this is quite crazy. Something so close to us, uh, yet it's with so much uh, history and culture. And it's this. Yeah. I knew that if I'm gonna ever climb this mountain, it has to be with the right people and finally found the opportunity to climb this mountain with the right people. I mean, these boys, uh, I've been very good friends with them. I think they share the same desire and the same passion, the same interests. We all appreciate the great outdoors and nature. So um, for me, this is a perfect opportunity. So one day I was just hanging around with them and I, I proposed this idea to my pleasant surprise uh, they agreed I mean one of them has already climbed this mountain before the other two I'm, I'm not sure if they are fully aware of uh, what they're signing up for but I think they did it for the brotherhood you know it's like the buddies getting together and what's more important is this is an expedition that uh, I think they knew it's going to be really tough. So once they agreed, um, it was game on. Our plan was to actually start training um, at least two to three months before the expedition. But we only started, believe it or not, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks before the expedition, and to be honest, I was um, pretty worried. I mean, we're talking about a pretty huge challenge here, a really tough mountain. Well, you just did a lot of circuits within the nature reserve and those were steep climbs we just had two weeks so we had to grind it out we had to make sure that um, we try our best when the time comes we all had to go uh, so I was a little worried uh, I'll be lying if I say I'm not worried at all uh, about our fitness about how prepared we are mentally physically But at the same time, you know, everybody's just excited about the expedition. I mean, we couldn't wait. We would meet up and we would discuss about our food preparation, what else to bring, you know, what are the essential equipment and gear. And then we had to plan to carry as little load as possible because this is an expedition by which we are literally depending on ourselves. I mean, we have the guide to guide us, but you know, we basically have to carry everything ourselves. So our backpacks were easily um, more than 20 kilos. When we were training, we were carrying about 15 to 17, 18 kilos maximum. So, um, yeah, I mean, I was really worried.
So the day came, we wanted to do it like a backpacker style. So what we did was we booked tickets for the train ride. It's essentially about eight or nine hours from Johor. We took the train to Jerantut, which is a, a small town in Pahang. at Gerantut and that was 4.30 a.m. in the morning and everything is just closed. No cafes, no eateries, nothing. And we were a little hungry. So we found 7-Eleven, got ourselves some food, some beverage, and we had to basically just bum out for three to four hours before the first bus ride, which will take us to Kuala Tan. So when we got there, we met the guide, and to be honest, when I saw him the first time, I knew kind of instantly that he would click with our group. After we were being introduced, uh, we had an awesome breakfast, and then we went to the starting point where we had all our equipments uh, checked and accounted for, because you know. It's a nature reserve and they have to account for everything you bring in. You're not supposed to litter, you're not supposed to throw anything. Basically, we did all the paperwork required. You gotta pay camera taxes and permits and stuff. So we settled that and then boom, off we go.
Okay, uh, basically, um, this climb is, uh, I would say, like a love-hate relationship. Um, the journey up to Gunung Tan, it's certain areas I really hate, like um, river crossing and walking at the edge of the river. That's kind of like a pretty tough route for me. But the journey up to uh, Gunung Tan was a good experience. Uh, different sets of elements that you have to go through, river crossing, um, climbing rocks and um, climbing trees because there's a, there's a lot of fallen trees. I never thought that I'd go for this kind of trip. Um, and for me, it's yes, it's tiring, but <clears throat> with the uh, with the help of Mervin, um, Shadik, and Wilson, we managed to push through this journey and managed to reach to the uh, to the summit. And kudos for the boys, uh, as in without you guys, I think I wouldn't go for this trip because it never came across my mind that. I will climb to Gunung Tahan and I will say this is the greatest achievement in my life. And thanks to the cameraman behind. Okay, he's the one who actually um, proposed this idea. But because of him, I think I wouldn't step to the uh, Gunung Tahan summit. And cheers, Mervin. I feel good, of course. Um, it was a difficult journey for me because uh, I don't have, uh, I don't think I have enough training, first of all. So, it was a difficult climb. That's for sure, and I did not anticipate the uh, toughness of this tahan. So, but I did it. Uh, so, it was a very, very good experience, uh, and I felt great when I reached the summit. But it was a team effort, uh. Of course, uh, I feel depressed, uh, because first of all. I do not want to delay the, the team progress in climbing the Tahan. So I don't want to be a sort of burden. Uh, so of course I felt very depressed, demoralized, but managed to push through. Uh, great, I can do another time. It's okay, uh, it's adapting to the mountain. Uh, good experience. Uh, to be honest, it, I never thought I would come back there again. It was it was it was freaking tough. Uh, it was tough the first time, but I kind of, kind of forgot all about uh, all about that. But yeah, it's it's it, it's really really really, really tough. Uh, but uh, quite quite uh, happy that we managed to submit. And uh, thanks to all of you for pushing me from behind all the way to reach the top. Uh. Yeah, so quite appreciative of that. And. It's a really good experience. Uh. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really grueling, I must say. Yeah. Uh, to be quite honest, it, it feels okay. It was, it, it was quite painful during the, the hike, uh, but um, I'm, I was actually, uh, I thought that this, this right knee will bust, but uh, so far it's been doing quite okay, so I hope that uh, hopefully it stays like that throughout. Uh. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks to my wife for allowing me to go for this trip. Yeah, if not, I wouldn't be here. Uh, and uh, thanks to Melvin also for for you know initiating this idea. Uh, we are happy to help him strike this off his bucket list. <laughs> it's a it's a great experience. Huh? <laughs> to be honest, this is this has always been something that I've wanted to do. I've heard of Gunung Tahan for a long time, uh, and I've always wanted to climb it. I'm glad I found. Uh, this group of boys, uh, Wilson, Hyrie, Shadik, and uh, when I proposed this idea, they were game enough, uh, and I was really excited. I couldn't wait to do this trip, and uh, Tahan was what they say, you know, grueling, uh, tough. It's a test of both physical, uh, your mental strength. Uh, for sure, you need a lot of determination, uh, skill, um, and just the spirit to do it, man. So. I'm so proud of uh, boys. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's very, very tough for them. And uh, yeah, I, I mean, I couldn't be prouder. Um, we planned for like a six day, five nights expedition. Uh, I think we're pushing for five days, four nights. This is the, the fourth day. So tomorrow we'll, we'll push all the way down from Bota to Merapo. So Kuala Tahan to Merapo, six day, five nights, original plan. And then we're going to try to push for five day, four nights. And hopefully we can make it. So the guide says um, that's 
quite a crazy idea. And uh, pretty sure he said like, you know, he hasn't guided anybody like that. So uh, let's hope to be the first group. And uh, once again, I appreciate uh, the boys, uh, the guy's expertise and his experience. It depends. I, I think uh, uh, I, I'm keeping it open for sure. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> it has to be with the right companions. And uh, I think that's, that's really important. Going with the right group of people, um, it's just it's just crucial.